Hello, hello, hello. Welcome all. Hello, Divine Feminines. This reading will be for you. Great rising to all. Divine royalty. This, this great rising, okay? As I stated, this will be for you, Divine Feminines. Um, welcome to the new subscribers. Thank you all for the love and the support that you continuously show this channel. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure when you subscribe, you hit that notification bell, okay? Everything you need to know is down below in the description box, as well as the second channel I've created for um, Cancers, okay? You can be a Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, okay, Venus or Jupiter, or you could just have Cancer placements in your birth chart. If you're interested in that, that link is also below in the description box. So if you want to check it out, feel free to click, click on that link. And if you feel guided, subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you won't miss an upload on that channel or anything that's going on. So Divine Feminists, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Holy Spirit, Most High God, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Henny, and Raphael, Metatron. What do you have for the Divine Feminines on today, Holy Spirit? What do you have for the Divine Feminines on today, Holy Spirit? Thank you, Holy Spirit, Divine Feminines. What do, what do the Divine Feminines need to know, Holy Spirit? Thank you, Holy Ancestors. Holy Ancient Ancestors, Divine Loved Ones. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit, Divine Feminine, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Divine Feminine. What do they need to know? Okay, you got the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, my deck is upside down. I f forgive me. Uh, you got the Ten of Pentacles, okay? You guys are definitely coming into your spiritual inheritance, okay? You guys are definitely building a legacy here. You're manifesting nothing but greatness and generational wealth here. I feel like you guys have definitely tapped into ancient gifts, okay, from your past life, okay, and you're starting to really operate in your power, okay? That's why God is gifting you divine feminines with this Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like you're getting ready to build with um, your divine counterpart here. I feel like with the Queen of Swords here, I feel like you no longer are holding on to things that serve you no good or uh, aren't contributing to your soul's calling, okay? I feel like you're in alignment and you have nothing to hide here, all right? That's why people can't come to you any kind of way because you'll cut the heads off their fucking shoulders here. You speak nothing but truth. You're too authentic. You have nothing to hide. You're very wise and intelligent here. And that's why God is um, helping you manifest this Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, with the moon card here. You guys are definitely very, very psychic, okay? You guys have a lot of insight. You guys are very gifted, okay? Some of you guys um, definitely have the gift of foresight, or you could be an empath here. Either way, your your gifts are increasing here, all right? And you definitely have the um, power to, you know, call judgment upon others. I'm looking at Anubis right there. If you can see Anubis over there. You definitely, you guys definitely have the power to call and cast judgment up on dark individuals here, all right? And that is part of your gift as well with that Ten of Pentacles here, all right? You definitely have Anubis on your side protecting you, okay? And anybody that tries to get in your way definitely will be stopped. They can't hinder this, this greatness that you're about to come into, Divine Feminine. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles here. You're definitely, you're definitely being taken care of by the Divine here. You're not going to want or lack for anything. Yeah, with the four of wands, I say you guys are coming into your divine counterpart here. You guys are coming into a very stable divine union here by operating in your true self, your spiritual gifts, by answering your soul's calling. Okay, you guys are definitely, you know, taking care of your business here as well here. That is also attracting um, this stable foundation that you're building, this stable union here, definitely led and guided by the Holy Spirit with that dove up top. You guys definitely have protection as well with the ram at the bottom here. So, you know, this is definitely giving off um, earth energy as well as fire energy here. I don't really focus on the signs here, but you could also be a water sign with the um, moon card here. Pisces energy, cancer, cancer energy I'm picking up on here. Yeah, you're the empress here. Bottom of the deck, like I said, God is gifting you. You're, been, you're being taken care of here. I feel like you went through a cycle of feeling abandoned and isolated here with the five of pentacles. You guys definitely have lost a lot along the way here. But that loss w was only uh, meant to help you with the major gain here with the ten of pentacles. So anything that you lost wasn't for you to begin with. It was a stagnation. It was a hindrance. It was a blockage. 
okay? Because you're coming into this abundance of, you know, your divinity, knowing who you are, allowing the universe to take care of you and help you ground and, you know, just build this firm, solid foundation because you're operating in your spiritual gifts now here. I feel like God is revealing to the world just how powerful you are here as well with the moon card here. So it's no secret that you're a very gifted individual. You're coming up as the queen of pentacles and the empress here after taking, you know, um, some sort of loss in your life with the five of pentacles here, you know, whether it be money, finances, family, friends, whatever the case may be. I feel like you guys were holding on to those things too tightly and God made a way, you know, where you had no choice but to release, uh, release that, uh, release those energies who would bring your poverty to your life. Yeah. Seven of wands here. Yeah. You were to protect it. Yeah. Ace of pentacles right behind that divine feminine nine of pentacles here. Yeah, God had to separate you, get you by yourself so that you can nurture your own garden here. You had a lot, lot within you that you weren't tapped into with this nine of pentacles here. So you went from the nine of pentacles to the queen of pentacles to the empress. And you, you're you coming into this ace of pentacles and in, increase in finance and spiritual protection here. Yeah. God had to get you alone so that you can recognize who you are and what was within you. You went from the five of pentacles to the nine of pentacles here. And then from the nine of pentacles, you went to the queen of pentacles, now operating in your empress energy. You know, you have the ten of pentacles here. So God is definitely gifting you with this generational abundance here. You guys are receiving gifts from the divine, from your ancestors, okay, of the highest uh, vibration. Divine, holy, pure, you know, you're, you're protected here. Seven of wands, God was pro uh, protecting your birthright. As well, your gifts, Ace of Pentacles, okay? So like I said, anything you lost was only a setup for you to have a major comeback with this Ace of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles here that's surf surfacing here. And now I feel like with this Moon card, not only are you tapped into your uh, psychic abilities, but this is being revealed to you as well along the way here. Yeah. So you have nothing to worry about, Divine Feminines. You're definitely being 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 favored, okay? And favor ain't fair, but you're a chosen individual here, all right? Divine. You could have children or, you know what I'm saying, you could just be very um, fertile. Your creativity is through the roof. You're in tune with your spiritual gifts. You could be a mother figure to other individuals here as well, you know? So you have to put that energy where it go. But either way it go, you're in your empress energy here. You're, you're a woman of your word. You take care of your business. You're very grounded. Some of you all could be business owners as well, okay? Or you could work for yourself on your own business or you're in the process of becoming your own boss, you know, being an entrepreneur or, you know what I'm saying, just working by yourself here, not having to answer to anybody. Yeah, Nine of Cups, I feel like that is something that you have been praying for if you are an entrepreneur here. Yeah, you had, you had endured a lot of hurt and pain with the, yeah, Three of Swords there. Yep, Ace of Swords, this is the truth, you know? You endured a lot of betrayal, a lot of hurt, a lot of heartache, a lot of pain, you know? But with this truth here, God is, you know, shedding light that, you know, that was only to set you up for the, for this great blessing, this great favor that is over your life here, you know? Three of Pentacles here. God is working with you, you and God and your spiritual divine team, okay? You are meant to co-create. Yeah, you're meant to build here. Six of Swords, you're definitely going towards a place of calmer waters in your life, peace and tranquility, okay? Some of you are also getting ready to relocate here, all right? For others of you, this is going to take some, you know, relocating here. You need to, you know, um, it's time for you to take a journey to the unknown here. It's time for you to get out of your comfort zone as well as what I'm picking up with this Six of Swords here. Yeah, with the... um strength card here it looks like yeah you're very attractive here okay people are lusting after you all right there's a lustful energy around you as well you might need to check your surroundings holy spirit what else just you know check your energy protect your energy check your environment here because you do have some lustful energies, you know, trying to attach themselves to you simply because you're coming into this spiritual abundance, okay? And it's definitely manifesting into your 3D, into your, you know, earthly, earthly, um, 
earthly um reality here because us as divine beings you may not recognize it but we're multi-dimensional um divine beings here it's more is more than what meets the eye here holy spirit anything else for divine feminines yeah princess of pentacles here i feel like you guys are definitely learning um learning new things here Okay, opening up and broadening, um, opening up and, you know, um, expanding your horizons, okay? You're broadening your horizons here. You know, you're learning, you're studying. And like I said, you guys are also learning new things about yourself coming into this new, you know, this level up, this new energy, this divine energy. Um, you're already in your Empress energy. So it's like now you're, you're just trying to master and harness, you know, um, your divine energy here, your gifts, your talents here. All right. I feel like you guys are locked in with yourself. You're definitely, you definitely know where you want to go. Okay. And God is leading you to the proper resources here. Page of Pentacles here. God is gifting you with new ideas. Okay. Opening up your studies here, helping you research, you know, learn new things, expanding, you know, um, expanding your 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 um your mental here you know seeking new knowledge here yeah because the more you know the more powerful you become yeah eight of wands here yeah quick fast the more you know the more powerful you become here with the universe yeah you're opening up new doors of opportunity the more you know the more the powerful you the more powerful you become here you're opening up a new a new beginning in your life, a new chapter, closing out the old and beginning anew here. You're definitely tapped into the universe. Y'all stepping on stepping on snakes' heads and shit. Yeah, I'm getting Psalms 91. You will trample up on lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet here. So you're becoming very powerful here. You went from a student to an empress. You went from a student to an empress. So like I said, you you aren't doing anything but leveling up here, divine feminine. Yeah, you're you're stepping on the devil's necks here. Okay? But like I said, there's very um lustful uh obsessive energies around you that you may want to, you know, check, you know? Of course, when you're that powerful and you're that divine, you know, there it, there will be temptation here. But you have to discipline yourself and you have to make sure that you're grounded. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You have to make sure that you're grounded in your own energy okay and confident within yourself and know who you are and know what you want and don't stray away from it because like i said you got the ace of pentacles and the ten of pentacles with the queen of pentacles and the empress here you're definitely being taken care of after a long you know cycle of the three of swords energy here okay that's why god is gifting you with the nine of cups the desires of your heart and this ace of pentacles you've been protected the whole time here because the three of swords is on the empress and the seven of wands here and the ace of swords is on the seven of wands with the ace of pentacles here so this is definitely true yeah five of wands here you have people who want to put themselves in competition with you this isn't a competition you know you don't see any competition and i feel like a lot of you all um, at one point kind of went through that mental conflict. You were kind of, you know, battling, um, your, your internal self. It was like your higher self and your lower vibrational self going at it here, but you had no choice but to grow up. Yeah. Eight of cups. You had to walk away from that old way of thinking here. You had to walk, walk away from and leave that, you know, conflict in the past. Like I said, as well as other individuals around you, like I say, you may need to check your environment here. Because you're definitely, you know, leveling up. Ten of Pentacles was the first card out. You know, so people know that you're gifted. So, of course, you're going to have, you know, people want to battle you. You know, but you got to realize who you are. You're the Empress here. You're chosen and protected here. You're really the Divine Feminine here. God wants you to stay grounded in, in, in your energy, in your grace, you know, in your element here. Remain poised. Remain, you know, angelic, you know, elegant. Uh, and beautiful confident you know and just continue to handle your business and let god handle these these individuals who want to bring conflict and chaos towards you okay even if it's within yourself you have to train your mind to you know um think positive 
thoughts only because you got to realize your thoughts manifest into your reality because that's just how powerful you are here. And I do sense you guys, you know, just walking away from that type of energy. Yeah, ten of swords here because it caused you nothing but betrayal. You know, heartbreak, loss, you know, people stabbing you in your back. Some some of y'all betrayed your own selves by going against your intuition here, not listening to your, your higher self. All right, but I feel like that was past energy with the Eight of Cups here. That's no longer because I feel like you guys have become empowered, Divine Feminine. Yeah, the tower here. You realize who the fuck you were. You realize that by operating in that Five of Wands, Ten of Swords energy, or ten, yeah, Ten of Swords energy here, it wasn't bringing you anything but, you know, um, chaos and, and drama. And it just enlightened you that, you know, you were operating in a low vibrational energy or allowing these low vibrational energies to attach themselves to you, which also by you allowing these energies to attach themselves to you and their karma, it also brought you tower moments in your life. But I feel like with that eye up there, you definitely become awakened here. There's no more second guessing for you, Divine Feminine. You truly know who you are now. You understand your power. You understand who you are. You understand who you belong to. And you're understanding your mission. Your, your, your soul's calling here. You're answering your calling. You're in your purpose. And it's manifesting into your reality. You know? I just feel like you guys have just, you know, just left that bullshit in the past here with the Eight of Cups. It's like, I'm not about to continue to go through these cycles of betrayal and heartbreak when I know that I'm destined for more I know that I'm destined for greater here so anything that's you know causing you chaos and conflict and drama you're walking away from it here don't matter who they are family friends lovers whoever but you're establishing yourself here yeah the high priestess thank you holy spirit you're listening to your higher self now. Yeah, you're the star. You know, you are healing. Yeah, you operating your authenticity here. You ain't playing no games with nobody no more. If it ain't serving your highest good, you cutting that shit short. Yeah, look. Look. Karmics. You cutting cords with these motherfuckers. Period. Queen of Swords. Beheading the, the heads of these snakes here. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. These karmic ass, snake ass individuals here. Yeah, yeah, they look you up, trying to go, you know, look you look you up, investigating you, but not knowing that you're chosen. You have the keys. They can't access anything they don't have the keys to. So while they're trying to spy on you, using tarot, private investigators, this only backfiring. Seven of, seven of wands here. You are already protected against these karmic energies and the and the, and the you know plots and schemes that they try to bring against you to stop you from realizing that you really are the empress the high priestess the star you're chosen here you're very gifted divine feminine and i'm glad that you're not sleeping on yourself anymore i feel like for a long time you allowed the the karmic situations and the karmics i feel like it's more so on your divine masculine's end here yeah they wanted to stop you they wanted to make you look like you didn't know what the fuck you was doing or what you had going on here whole time you were you were speaking nothing but truth you had nothing to hide you haven't have divine intelligence as well you know you're the star you did your own healing you're very magical and mystical here you you already had that that deep knowing that inner knowing you had the keys to the streets like i said to the you have the keys to the you know spiritual realm here and God only wanted you to tap into your, your, your higher self so that you can unlock these mysteries and unlock these doors and, you know, reveal to the world who you truly are. You're one who operates in truth, divinity here. Beautiful, elegant, and poised. You're naked. There is nothing for you to hide. You heal right in front of the people who hurt you. And that's, that's what gets everybody. That's why they can't understand your energy. That's why they can't comprehend. And that's why they get jealous and mad here. Yeah, Prince of Pentacles here. Yeah, you have you have someone you coming your way, ready to get you and, and show their appreciation towards you. They see you as a very strong individual with that ox there. They see you are are, are very strong and you're very, you know, you defend yourself. You're protected here. 
So a lot of these people are mad that the one person that they wanted, you know, and tried to block off from you is coming towards you to get you and show their appreciation towards you. You know, I feel like you've helped this person along the way as well. And some of you all, you know, could read tarot. Others of you all just, you know, use your intuition. And, you know, you told this person about a lot of things and situations that were going on in their life here. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. I'm, But I'm definitely picking up on um, a divine masculine here who who is wanting to come in and gift you and show you their appreciation, you know, and let you know that, you know, you spoke nothing but truth with the Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords here. Yeah, Six of Wands. You're headed towards nothing but success, Divine Feminine. You're getting the recognition that you deserve here. Look, Prince of Wands, here he comes. He's coming with some good news, some appreciation here. Yeah, he's ended some things here. Whoever this ind individual is that's coming your way, he's ended some things. Yeah, death to all your haters here. All your haters. It's about to be a slap in their face. Yeah. Whatever Quirinx was lying on you to this divine masculine trying to hinder y'all connection. Yeah, they about to have a major ending here. Some of these, some of y'all going to find out these people are, are um, on their deathbed here. Or they're losing close loved ones. Yeah. For speaking ill on you with the five of swords here. Um, sending evil eye. Gossiping. You know, putting um, things on you that aren't true. You know, trying to defile your character, your reputation here. Yeah, and now you're about to receive news of, of these major endings in these people's lives here. Yeah, and you also went through a transformation, Divine Feminine. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles here. You really planted and nurtured your own garden here. There was nothing for you to hide. God wanted you to start to invest in yourself here. Take a bet on yourself. Bet on yourself and your gifts. Trust the guidance that you're receiving. Yeah, mm-hmm. These people definitely were putting death spells on you. Magic on you here with the Ten of Swords and the Magician or the Art card in this deck. Yeah, they definitely wanted to cause major endings for you. They wanted to, they were using magic to keep you in this Ten of Swords energy. Always experiencing betrayal. Yeah. Yeah, they work real hard too. Princess of Cups. They put a lot of emotion in this shit. Like they really felt that strongly towards you to, you know, use this, this magic to cause major endings for you because they didn't want to see you level up here. Yeah, not a sword. Yeah. They felt real deeply. So much that they waged spiritual war on you with the knot of swords here. That's crazy. <laughs> they were very immature individuals. Yeah, all because you <laughs> you <laughs> your twin flame wants to come towards you. All because your twin flame, the lover's card. Your twin flame wants to come towards you. And you only, and you only, and all you did was come into union with your higher self. That was it. And it triggered your twin flame to come towards you. You got to understand you're the twin flame. Look, the higher from here. Yeah, this is our ordered and ordained by the most high God here. And this person wants to take it to another level of commitment. Yeah, they were trying to scheme and plot on you behind your back. Yeah, trying to keep you in regret here. But God sees everything. Like I said, whatever they was doing behind your back, God saw it all. So God only, like I said, it was only setting you up for your success here. Yeah, God saw it all. God saw it all. Yeah, not a swords here. Yeah, seven of swords, not, um, not a swords. Yeah, God saw it all. So, yeah. They 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 definitely waged war on you. They were trying to steal from you and take away your birthright here. Ten of Pentacles. You're gifted. These people were definitely spying on you spiritually, invading your privacy. Okay, some of you all most likely weren't even into tarot. You know, and didn't know people were, you know, waging war on you spiritually using magic here. Ten of Swords here. Until you awakened to your higher self. You started to realize who you were. You were getting dreams, premonitions, deja vus, visions, okay? Dreams, all right? Synchronicities. You started seeing things a lot more often here. And that was God getting your attention so that you can awaken to your divinity here. Holy Spirit, thank you for the confirmation. Yeah, and these people were, you know, using death spells on you. Black magic. 
Yeah, that's what they were doing. Yeah, because your person wants to come back. And they were trying to keep your person from, um, they were trying to keep your person um, in this four of cups missing opportunities with you. Because y'all have a past life relationship here. Nine of wands, yeah. They waged war on you. You definitely went through a lot, Divine Feminine. Not going to sit up here and lie. But you were protected. And it was only to strengthen you and your spirituality and your spiritual gifts. Yeah, three of wands here. Yeah, you definitely went through a lot. But God wanted you to see the bigger picture here with the three of wands here. God didn't want you to sit around and wait. God wanted you to begin to operate in your higher self and carry out your soul missions here. That is what started to bring in your manifestations with the three of wands. Not sitting around waiting on your person to come to you. God wanted you to start to work on yourself. Work on your gifts. Invest in yourself. Nurture your own garden. And what you did was level up. The more you work, the more God leveled you up. Yeah, you may have felt like you lost a lot along the way, but that's why the Ten of Pentacles here, because God is about to replace everything that you lost. Tenfold. Tenfold. Ten of Pentacles. Tenfold. You're about to be definitely taken care of, Divine Feminine. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Holy Spirit, anything else? Yeah, your person learned the lessons. I feel like I feel like your person got that ass whooped too in the spiritual realm, you know, by trying to stick around these um karmic energies, you know, just re resisting the change and the connection and, and within themselves and within you. Yeah, not a pinnacles two of wands here. I told you your person took too much time. Yeah, God said you wasn't waiting on nobody. You need to go ahead and choose to operate in your calling. Choose yourself here. Choose a new direction here. Yeah, with the fool card here. Now, this is what your person is in turn getting ready to do for you. Yeah, man, it's taking a long time because these people place obstacles and blockages, hindrances in your connection, but they're choosing you. They're about to take that leap of faith on you, Divine Feminine. Yeah, and that's just period. Princess of Cups here. Here they come with that apology. But like I said, Divine Feminine, this is also you. This is your energy. You took a leap of faith on yourself. You believed in yourself and your own gifts here. Page of Cups. Yeah. After forgiving yourself on a soul level here. Take a leap on yourself. Take a leap of faith on yourself. That's what God wanted you to do here. And you did so. And now things are turning around in your favor. Divine Feminine. Favor ain't fair. It's not fair. You know, it's not fair, but you know, that's what happens when you choose to be obedient to, to God, you know, to the most high, to the higher powers, to the divine. You didn't resist the change, divine feminine. You went with the flow. You took everything, the bad with the good, the good with the bad, the bumps, the hiccups, you know what I'm saying? The mishaps, you know, the setbacks, you know, the wounds, the scars, you took all that. And you, in turn, you became this powerful, spiritual, divine being here who realizes that you are real life a god or a goddess here, a goddess energy. You know, you have goddess energy. You have godlike energy. Your aura is powerful. You know, your tears are, ma your tears are uh, magical. And your essence is divine here. I definitely got that tatted. That's my own, my own quote. And it helps me remember who I am. You know, I look at that every now and then when I get down and out or, you know, things aren't going the way that I want, you know, especially when it comes to the channel. And, you know, I get people that want to get on here and try to, you know, distract me and things like that. I have to look at it. My tears are mag magical. My aura is powerful. My essence is divine. See, like, like, I have to pause and reflect on that sometimes because I have to let that sink into my soul. You know, like, I'm not. I'm not like the others. I'm, I'm set apart for a reason. You know, so just know that you're powerful and God is not going to leave you nor forsake you, Divine Feminine. You've already come this far. You've been obedient enough to the Most High God here. That he's blessing you with everything you can want or need. As long as you stay in tune and in alignment with God himself first, keeping him first and operating in your higher self, answering the calling on your life here. Khadijah, the mother of believers, I am, I am spiritually and financially abundant. 
I provide heaven and earth for myself. Literally. Literally. Literally, divine feminine. I just said that. Your spiritual gifts are tied to your abundance. And by you continuously operating in your higher self, utilizing your spiritual gifts for the greatest good of all, God is only going to bless you even the more here. So, like I said, don't sleep on yourself. The apostle to the apostles. I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am fully human and fully divine. Mary Magdalene here. Can't make it up. You're the bridge. You're the connection between the earthly plane and the spiritual realm here. The heavens, should I say. Fully human and fully divine. You are a divine spiritual being. Like I said, you are a goddess here. You, 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 are, you are the connection here. Huh. The possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. You understand that there are no limitations on you. There is nothing. You cannot be restricted. See, that's where these people fail. When they wanted to use magic to keep you in that ten of swords energy, damn near trying to take you out, literally. You know, hoping that you die along the way. Hoping that you die from heartbreak and depression and take your own life. Stuff like that. But God said not so. You are a limitless soul here. You've been here many lifetimes and you're going to continue to carry out your mission until you get it right. That's what, that's what happens when you're obedient. God gives you multiple chances. Once you learn a lesson, you apply the wisdom so that you won't continuously go into the same cycle over and over here. These people are foolish in their actions as well here. The mystic of divine love. Love is divine and I am nothing except love. Yes. You know that love is unconditional love is the highest vibration of all here. So you're, like I said, you're mystic and you're magical here. People don't understand you and they won't because they're low vibrational. They're filled with the devil here. These people will never understand what it is to be divinely loved here and to exude divine love to others and receive um, goodness in return, greatness in return, not only from those that you, you know, you, you, you give it out to, but from God himself here. They're jealous of your connection with God. But they don't understand what it is that, you know, you had to go through to get, get where you are and have this favor with God. The tests and trials were not easy. That's where these people keep falling short. The high priestess, I am one with my soul and my soul is a legacy of love. What did I say? You've been here many lifetimes before. You're the high priestess here. Like I said, y'all coming into y'all own spiritual gifts, y'all higher self. You have deep knowing. You have ancient wisdom, ancient knowledge, divine intelligence. You you have faced the dark. You know what I'm saying? And, and now you are you are in your light here. You face your own demons. You face the trials and tribulations here. Despite what they were throwing at you. So not only were you fighting your own demons, but you were battling um, black magic and shit. Demonic entities that were sent your way to continue to have you stuck in this ten of swords energy. Pit down for harsh, painful endings. Not wanting you to get up. Wanting you to stay down. God don't know. God's warriors don't stay down. You're too powerful. 33, 33 on the clock. The mystic of peace here. I am peace. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. Like I said, you're focusing on your thoughts because you realize how powerful you are. Your thoughts manifest into your reality. So if you want peace, you keep peaceful thoughts. You think positive thoughts. You think divine thoughts here. You manifest nothing but love in your life. Peace. Like I said, six of swords here. Excuse me. Apologize, Bert. Excuse me. The mother of Imams. Imams. Love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion here. You always show gratitude. You always show gratitude and, and thanks to the divine, to God, to, to, the, to the highest source, to, to the creator of all here. You never go a day without giving your thanks, showing your gratitude, being grateful just for another day, you know, at life to be able to improve and do better than you did the day before. You know, just the simple things. That's why God is blessing you because you realize and you give thanks for the little things here. 
the red goddess. Playful, playfulness is a spiritual power. Laughter leads me back to life. So you understand that being lighthearted and in a playful energy is also very divine here because it uplifts people's spirits. You know, it diminishes the heavy energy. You know, laughter do it good like a medicine. We understand that being lighthearted and being playful and laughter, you know, heals heals not only yourself, but other people as well. Laughter is also um, a, a, a spiritual tool of healing here. You know, you like to see people smile. You like to see make people laugh. That is a gift because whether you know it or not, you don't know what people are going through. You know, so that little bit of light that you shine just by making somebody smile or laugh can definitely um, change the, the, the narrative in their life by seeing the light in you, by seeing you smile, by seeing you be playful, by seeing you joke and, you know, um, continuously be in this lighthearted energy, even after going through all this, the magic, you know, demonic forces being sent to attack you, to take you down, to make you want to quit. But God said, not so. It's the divine favor over your life. Over our energy, the warrior saint. I am a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. Like I said, I can't make it up here. I told you you are a warrior here. I, I said that. You are a warrior. God chose you for a reason. You're strong. You're obedient. You listen. Yeah, you may have, you know, it, it, nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, God may have had to, you know, strike you or, you know, show you his wrath a little bit. But it only took that one time for you to understand it. And, and then and, and, and even then you realize that, you know, you have to check yourself. You have to realize like, oh, OK, yeah, I, I deserve that. I was, you know, falling off my path. I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. I was letting people get in my mind, get in my head and, and tricking me out of my spot or making me feel less than. Or like I didn't have. Or because things weren't going my way at the moment. That things were never going to get better. You had to realign yourself with God. And the promises that he made to you. And you got in your warrior spirit again. And you realize who the fuck you are. Which is a high priestess. A goddess. You know a spiritual warrior of love. And just being a spiritual warrior of love. Does not make you weak at all. You see that sword she got. Play with her if you want to. Queen of Swords here. Cut your ass real fast. You get to getting on that bullshit. Yeah. You have to learn balance as well here. Bottom of the deck. Go outside. It's time to go outside. Tune into the powerful piece of nature. Wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. So there's a need for you to get out, you know, and ground yourself. Get out in nature. Love, love on nature, you know admire nature and the you know divine um the divine creations around you you know life is divine here so you definitely need to get outside and admire nature because that's going to help you ground yourself and get in more tune with your spiritual gifts okay and your divinity here believe in magic open your eyes and see that magic see see the magic that's all around in nature the fairy of the northern light says you are part of nature so you are magical too. Like I said, getting in nature is going to help you, you know, strengthen your gifts. Okay. And help and help you ground yourself and understand that you're just as magical here. I feel like you already know, but getting in nature is just going to help you increase. Okay. You're going to get a boost in your soul and your spirit and in your gifts here. All right. I feel like God wants to show you something in nature as well here. There's something you need to see that is going to be a key. It's something you need to see in nature that is going to be a key here. All right. So definitely get out in nature, you know, even if it's taking a walk at the park or, you know, just putting your feet in the sand or, you know, just going to a, a, a lake and just admiring the beauty, you know, around you, the nature, the water, the purity, find balance, find the balance between your work, rest and playtime and you will have more energy, harmony and pro productivity in your life. Take a power nap. Like I said, y'all had to find balance here. All right. But like I said, keep your balance. You know, find that balance. Don't overwork yourself. 
God doesn't want you to overwork, but you know, allow him to give you the signs and the synchronicities, the resources. All you have to do, you're the empress. All you have to really do is sit in the track, you know, sit in the track and operate in your higher self. Listen to your intuition. That's what your work is. Listening to your intuition, listening to the higher powers that speak to you, that you're connected to. Like I said, you're the bridge between heaven and earth, the spiritual realm and the earthly plane here. You're definitely the bridge. Magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Yes. Yes. You're meant to be a blessing to others. Like I said, that's why God is blessing you. Stargazing. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. I said it. Didn't I say y'all got to get outside? Y'all got to get outside. I told you. There was, you were going to you were going to get some information here. What else do we need, fairies? Holy fairies. What else do we need, holy fairies? Come together. Fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. So the fairies want you to ask them for help. Want them want you to allow them to help you out in this spiritual journey as well. Fairies are very powerful, okay? And they want to see you happy. So allow them to come, you know, work with your fairies as well. Solitude. Thinking, think of being alone as mean as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. Yeah, you guys are already loners. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't need a lot of company. See, as well as exactly. That that magic, you know, like I said, check your surroundings here. You may need to separate. Go into hermit mode for a minute. So, separate yourself from the masses, okay? And get in tune with nature. Get by yourself and get in get in tune with nature. Moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and health, health, healthy. Although the fairies say that a little bit of what you what you fancy is fine. So they want you to, you know, uh, whatever it is, use it in moderation. Whatever you're eating, if it's something you know you can't, you shouldn't be eating on a daily basis like that, use it in moderation. Eat it in moderation. Learn to discipline your eating habits, okay? Even I'm working on that celebration get ready to let your hair down and celebrate it's time to go out dance and play an invitation could be on the way what did i say here comes your person here comes your your person like i said they're coming to you these people are mad they mad they mad let them be mad it's your time to celebrate it's your time it's your time to shine period point blank these people knew that a long time ago. That's why they wanted to cause so much chaos and, and conflict. They allowed the devil to get in their head and play with them. And, and the devil didn't do nothing but play them. <laughs> they, th they thought the devil was their friend here. Not how the fuck. Shut up, here. Everybody got to learn. Some way, somehow. The divine feminines I'm picking up on, you chose the, <laughs> you chose the light way. <laughs> You ain't let you ain't let the devil get in your head and play with you like that. Not only that, but these people were very insecure as well here. Yeah, they were very insecure. Very insecure. They were intimidated by your light. Yeah, and it stirred up their insecurities, their demons. Holy Spirit, what else does divine feminist mean here? Favor ain't fair, but when you chosen. It comes with the territory. Holy Spirit. Angel Raphael here. Provider of healing for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. All right. So y'all are healing here. Archangel Raphael is there to he help you heal. I feel like y'all are calling upon your angels and, you know, your, your spiritual divine team to help you. You have magical blessings on the way here. Some of you all may need to fast or let go of something. Like I said, some of you all may need to, you know, not eat meat for a while or whatever it is that you're consuming that, you know, may be, you know, too much. Let that go for about a month. Drink water, you know, let go of the, the juices, the sodas. If you drink soda, me personally, I don't drink soda. If you drink 
pop soda, you know, just a lot of candy, sweets, you know, let that shit go for about a month, purify your, your body. All right. And, and work with Archangel Mike, Michael to continue to help you heal. Battle of the Blues, take steps towards positive change. Yeah. And that's what you're doing here. I believe Divine Feminines are definitely getting information here. Now I'm getting Beyonce. Okay, okay, now, okay, ladies, let's get information. I, I don't remember how it go. But get information. Okay. I go off. You got to go off. Originality. Blaze your own trail here. Yeah. You're 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 following your divine path. And your divine path is not the same as anyone else. You're original. You have your own path, your own trend. Money, find a way to abundance here. Yeah, you're finding your way to your own spiritual abundance here. You're about to have a windfall of money coming coming your way. Simply because you are obedient and you know who you are now. Enlightenment, pursue spiritual growth here. Yeah, you chose to become enlightened here. Legends, learn from those who inspire you. Yeah, learn from those who inspire you. I feel like you are allowing God to place, um, you know, divine mentorship, mentor, mentors, or, you know, guiding you towards divine mentorship. And it's helping you expand your spiritual growth. You're becoming more powerful by the day here. You're about to become a legend here. You're about to be a legend that inspires others. All right. Divine feminine, Holy Spirit, divine feminine. Yeah, if you have children, know that your children are, are protected here. You are you and your children are protected. So if you're worried about the well-being of your children, they are protected. Okay, period, point blank. Divinely protected. Dolphin, don't worry, be happy. Don't worry about nothing. Be happy, divine feminine. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You on the right track. Just stay, stay on the path and watch God give you everything you desire here. God is definitely watching over you. Holy Spirit, anything else? Anything else, Holy Spirit? All right, Holy Spirit, that's it. All right. Potential, think big for your future. Think big for your future. No small thoughts. Don't cut yourself short. Don't cut yourself short. Think big. You're a master manifester, if you did not know. You're the empress, queen of pentacles. Anything you touch turns to gold here. Ten of cups, look. Ten of cups, prince of cups, two of, uh, two of pentacles here. Everything is coming together here. Yeah. And someone sees you as complete, you know, happiness, wish fulfillment. You're about to receive that happy family here. Everything is coming together, two of pentacles, no more juggling. This person is coming in to gift you with an apology as well as the divine is continuously gifting you with the desires of your heart. You're going to have a lot on your plate. Just know that. Two of Pentacles here. But God ain't going to give it to you if he if you couldn't handle it. Yeah. Prince of Wands. Here come that good news. I'm telling you. You have good news. Nothing but goodness coming your way. All right? Because you're chosen, Divine Feminine. So that's what I have for you. I'm Moon Goddess 2211. Um, thank you for the continued uh, support. Continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe to your girl. All right. I love y'all. Namaste. True squad. Gang, gang.